Welcome back to the channel. Um, just wanted to talk about a new headset coming out, Beat Studio Buds. Um, I was going to give credit where credit is due. This is an article made from um, 9to5Mac, which really talked about a lot of different products. So if you know anything about this, this you, I'm not even sure this is even a YouTube channel, but I just know that whenever I need to look something up or someone that had to scoop on things, I'm either looking at front page tech or I look at 9to5Mac, and they typically give you what you need to know about certain products. Um, there are others on there, but I'm just talking about the ones that I actually personally listen to. So anyway, I just want to talk about the Beat Studio Pros, right? Studio Buds, sorry. And I'm actually glad these are coming out on a simple fact that Apple, if anyone that doesn't know the history, Apple purchased Beats by Dre, right? Back when it was Beats by Dre from him, I forget how much money it was, but it made him filthy rich. Of course, Apple owned the brand. And in between the time of when they purchased them up until now, they kind of turned app I was, first i was like what are they doing with the brand like it was a waste but they ended up turning to me anyway uh the beats brand into a um mid-tier lower end market not lowering the product lowering the quality of the product just they don't want to sell beats for the same price as apple like beats is kind of the budget apple in a sense where you still get decent sound decent quality you still sell the over the head headphones but now they're venturing into an entirely different avenue. Well, they had Power Beats before too. And those were actually really, really popular. And remember, they worked with iOS. And as a matter of fact, one of the Power Beats used the, uh, the um, I think it was the Power Beats 3 or one of them. There's so many of them. They used the Apple um, Lightning Cable. That's what it was. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm stuttering all over the place. And I was always against that on a simple fact that there was no reason to turn this product into another nasty ecosystem product you know like beats was still a product where you can use on android and on apple i figured that was probably always their answer to make a lower end product that can still compete with you know Gal not saying compete with galaxy buds but price point wise because airpods is obviously the top thing let me say that now for anyone that's doubting that they're the top do i think they're the top product of course not it's just that when you when you compare integration text messages, phone calls, different things to watch, how seamless it all flows together. Software matters. It really does. So Samsung could come out with a, a superior phone, which they have, superior cameras, which they have, but Apple is still going to be on top because everything integrates with everything. It's kind of like Google Chrome across the field. You use Chrome on a phone, it'll sync up with your uh, Chrome on your computer. Apple is similar to that, except their integrated system is a lot more deeper. And it has much better security. That's one thing I do like about my iMac, which I have an older one. I'm not getting a new one. There's no need. But I do have better security on my computer. But my PC is for gaming. That's what primarily what I use it for. It's my game system, basically. So anyway, I'm all over the place. Let me get back to this product. So they're going to be selling it for $149.99. And it will have transparency mode, which mostly most headphones do in this category. It's going to have active noise canceling. So... This is in direct competition with something like the Galaxy Buds Plus, the Galaxy Buds Live, the Galaxy Buds Pros, uh, the Anchor Liberty Air 2 Pros, like any product that's around that $129 price point, this is in direct competition with them for $149. You're only paying like a $30, $20, whatever difference. A little bit more in taxes. So we don't even have to talk about Apple's chip they're going to use like it says here the w1 or h1 it's speculations right now this is just speculation so we're going to just scroll over to right here the beat studio bud specs and this may be real may not be real but it if when you look at the specifications it it's a reason it actually matches the price point of products in this quality right and i'm sure it's going to have decent call quality and all that stuff because power beats had it i doubt they're going to switch it out of this and again when, when you're dealing with people the moment I see this price, I'm like, why would anybody buy AirPods anymore, right? Because this integrates with AirPods, with Apple devices, mainly, 100%. That's what they made it for. But remember, people like have brand loyalty. So when you see Apple, like even when I had an Apple phone, I wanted the Apple Watch. I was ready to sell my Samsung phone, I mean Samsung Watch, and get rid of my buds. Like It puts you in that mind state where you need to have the trifecta of the watch and the um, buds with it. Some people are like that, some aren't. For people that aren't like that, they look at this video and say, oh, that's not true. But for people that really like a product to match and for it to integrate and work perfectly or 
almost perfect, they're going to think like me and want a particular product. But I will say that I, I'm the type of person where I don't mind if it's an older Apple Watch Series 3 and stuff. It's fine. I just need it to work with, you know, and get its updates. That's all that matters to me. But if you are going to get an Apple Watch, you're not looking to pay too much to get the Apple Watch SE. But I believe that one has 16 gigs internally, so it'll be able to handle. It'll be able to download all the software updates through the watch moving forward for the next couple of years, and you'll be fine with that one. Anyway, so if this is just true, five hours of battery life with ANC or transparency enabled, eight hours without either enabled, that looks similar to the Galaxy Buds right there. Where I think Galaxy Buds was like a eight hour playback with music and a five hour with like with like a media thing. And then talk time was a little bit different. I'm sure Apple's talk time is going to be different. Probably, if I had to guess, probably five hours talk time with without ANC, maybe four with ANC. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it. It's speculation. So I don't know how true this is, but um, more likely it is. More likely this at this uh, website is telling the truth about the product. What else do we have here? I don't. Uh, it will have USB-C. And that's why I say this is a really good product for Android users on the simple fact that, I mean, most, not, not most, every Android phone is USB-C in this day and age. There's no reason for micro USB. It's too old. It's obsolete. You know, you have your USB 3.0s and 3.1s and all that fun stuff and, you know, just faster data transfer. And it's easier to transfer data than it is through Apple. That's one of the reasons why I stuck to Android because it's easier to navigate the system to me when, when it comes to doing recordings and pulling information on and off your phone and installing applications or whether APKs that don't exist anymore. It's just, it's better for that purpose for me. Music, I don't have to sync it. I could just drag and drop SD cards, all that fun stuff. That's why I love Android. So when I saw this headset, I'm like, um, yeah, this is the answer to Galaxy Buds in my opinion. Like this is the answer to kill the rest of the competition. Because if you have the studio quality that Beats has always had, then when I say studio quality, again, these are earbuds, and I know there are better headphones by far than Beats. Beats are not the best quality headphones you can get. We're just talking about mainstream products that you see when you walk into department store, the department stores like Best Buy, certain places, you're gonna see Beats by itself next to Bose and different things when it comes to headphones. So. That's what I, what I mean, uh, studio quality. We're not talking about legitimate going to uh, the studio, paying money for a session. Yeah, you're probably not going to see anybody with beats unless they're being paid. <laughs> and I don't know if anybody's doing that anymore. But what I can honestly say is um, outside of the Find My integration, the iOS, all that nonsense, sweat and water resistant, that's what you need. Because I don't recall, if I recall, I don't think the AirPods, the regular AirPods were sweat and water resistant. They might have been sweat. I don't remember. But they did get issues when you had too much access liquid in them. Everybody sweats differently. Summer's coming up. Sometimes they, they uh, had issues with one would connect, one wouldn't. It depends. Uh, available in black, white, and red. That's typically the Beats colors that they normally give out for most of their headsets, especially the, like the, uh, I think it's called Beats. I forget the Beats that hook around the ear that come in a wireless case. I forget what they're called, Beats Pros or whatever they were, but they also came in different colors. You have the 24 hour case. so. Um, I guess the case is 16 or 18 technically or whatever it is and then you just add the uh, 8 hours on top of that without ANC and then you yeah 18 and you have your 24 hours which will last you the entire day you do a double shift at work you should be fine and even if you're not most people that have jobs have a desk or somewhere that you can put an outlet but just make sure your headset's charged so it's, it has the typical battery life of an average headset nothing out of the ordinary which this is substantially better than AirPods if we're talking about battery life and things. And that's why I'm just like, this kind of eliminates the reason for AirPod 3s. Because we both know that AirPod 3s aren't going to have an eight hour battery life in music. They're certainly not going to have a eight hour battery life of talk time. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't see it. It's Apple. They don't change their, uh, their mission that often. And if you have a, a plethora of people that are willing to pay t top dollars to talk three hours in their headset and then it dies, which is insane to me. You don't need to change your business model. Bravo to them, you know. Catch the suckers as you catch them. But, um, yeah, like, to be honest, I'm going to buy this product. I don't know when it's released. I'll look it up. I'm not really pressed. 
I am going to buy this because I was always a fan of Beats and I still have them at home, though I don't really use them because there's better, like I said, there's better headsets out there that are substantially more comfortable. But I plan on getting this, trying it out. Um, it looks a little big, to be honest. But I will say that, uh, like you see right here with the iOS integration, you know that's going to work for iOS. But I'm wondering what are they going to do for the Android side of things? Like, is there going to be an option or an app that you could use for Beats? That would be nice. Because if they did that, I'm telling you, like, that would, like, already destroy some of Samsung's cells that they already have. And, um... I'm pers I'm personally using the uh, Galaxy Buds Pros right now. I have the Pluses and the Pros. I gave the Pluses to my wife. I'm using the Pros. I like them. They work just fine. But it looks like if you're talking spec wise, these headphones right here might actually have better quality than the Galaxy Pros. If if I have anything to say about other Beats, especially at that 199 price point. But again, if if you're a Samsung user, you'll want Galaxy Be Buds Pros because of the uh, integration with Samsung where you open up the lid, similar to Apple, it shows your battery life, things like that. You have ANC, all that. You have an app to turn it on and off, change your buttons and switches. Hopefully they have support for that. I mean, it's Beats. They have no reason not to, to be honest. So, yeah, honestly, like if you look at these prices, yeah, Power Beats are 249. But they're right, 169, I just see it at Best Buy for different prices. They do discount that set a lot. AirPod Pros aren't even in the category because that's in a $250 price range, so we'll cut that out. Uh, AirPods with the wireless case. That, I don't know what they're talking about, $199. i have never seen it for $199. Maybe at an Apple store or something. I normally see the wireless charging case one for the $159 price point. And I, shop, I frequent different shops, so I guess every place is different. Um, regular AirPods, $159, which I normally see them at $139. AirPod 2s or even $119. Sometimes $109 on sale. You never have to pay these regular prices for any of these products. Um, but the Beat Studios... If I had to just, you know, just guess right now, I would say the Beat Studios are better than the AirPods. Better than AirPods with the charging cable, which is the same thing. And I dare to say that they're probably going to be better than AirPod Pros because they're, it's going to have spatial audio. So you're not missing any audio features, realistically. So uh, Power Beats, I was never a fan of Power Beats because they hook around the ear. I wear glasses. That's a conflict of interest with my ears. So I always kind of avoided that. But... Um, yeah, it's a great price. And I don't, I don't know how strong the beat name is anymore. Like, I know that with the beat name uh, years ago, people ran for their studio headphones. You had the Dr. Dre T Detox ones. I'm showing my age right now. And you had special edition ones. But are, are people really into beats like they were? They aren't, I have to do it. I have to really uh, look into their sales and things like that to see if people are into beats. I'm sure beats is still selling better than J Labs and certain brands, I'm sure. But, I mean, look at the price point difference. That's a, They're in a entirely different market, to be honest. So I'm not even going to compare the two J-Labs or Beats. But, the, again, when you reach that $100, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll just say when you reach the $100 threshold of headphones, you're automatically looking at $129, $149 also. All, that's in the same category because, you know, you might be able to spend $60 more for a headset, especially given the name. And when you look at the specs, it's worth it. Like, I would get these over the LG Tones, Clean Your Ear, UV, whatever headphones those are. They're like 139 if not more. So, we'll see.